It's time for Eric Plays City Skylines 2. Alright, I'm a little, um, a little sick, so. I'm not gonna talk as much or as loudly as usual. Um, so I just wanna take a look here at what I've got going on here. Got one point left. mind doing a small airport but I don't have the points for it at the moment all right so uh, this might be the last time I play for a while um, because uh, Evan of code is starting tomorrow oh. like my, my little town here well look at this one so many people can live there hey it looks like Brooklyn Wow, I didn't realize I had built such large apartment complexes in Coleridge Bluff. It's a uh, mixed income community. Some rich people live here. Oh, this says poor, but uh. in real life, this would be a rich person living right across the street from, the <laughs> from that wretched, wealthy. There we go. There's a rich person. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> Yeah, I wonder what's going on with that. Why is there like a poor person living like I don't right have there? Good financial. Well, per yeah, interesting. Why are they all one well, story? Yeah. Why are they not two story? Here? Yeah. These are my single family homes. I guess most of them are just one story. There's some row homes here, like uh, where your uncle lives. Oh, I made some of mine. So cute. So over here, and then there's like a big. Whoa. Forty-five people could live there. No one is living there. No one's living there yet. We've got an apartment where they can park. Parking lot. Yeah. I'm oh, sorry, that's what I meant to say. What is this? Tex Taylors. Oh, uh, okay. Cool. And look, I put... Oh, this got messed up. There was supposed to be uh, grass on this side of the sidewalk, and there's just trees with no grass. Let's fix that. Growing out of the side. Yeah, I mean... It, that's what they do in New York, but that's not what I wanted. Really? I thought that... Yeah, like a little circle. Let's see. Uh... This, this right here. There we go. That's Pretty. better. Yeah, that's what I wanted. Same thing over here. There we go. That'll look pretty, especially as the trees get bigger. Trees over here. Okay. Most of these trees are fine. No erosion. There better not be erosion. These people are going to be in trouble. It's <laughs> <laughs> like a new plant. Grass. Its roots spread. It's going to crack the con. Mm-hmm. This guy complaining about here. No pedestrian access. What is he talking about? Oh, he can't get to his backyard. <laughs> <laughs> Grab his cat. Wait, but can't he just go out the back? I don't know. He's a dumb dumb. <laughs> hey, there's 19 people on this tram. All right, people using the trams. There could be a team under 40, though. There could be, there could be, but there aren't. Doo -doo. Doo -doo. Let's follow the tram for a little bit. Look at that. Hey, buddy. How's it going? <laughs> so pe some people being disgorged. I like the ones where they can get off and on in the middle, and the trams, they're basically not taking up the, the traffic lanes. <laughs> Here he's in the middle, because I think this is a slightly different type of road, or I didn't make a... Oh, I think because I have trams going in, in both directions. Mm -hmm. That's the purple line over here. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Alright, we still have... A lot of people that want to move in. Question is, where in the heck do I put their houses? Because oh, there's a dog on there. I realize, mostly out of land at this point. <laughs> oh, I guess there's some land over here. Here we go. Let's see. Let's turn on contours. 
Oh boy. <coughs> Definitely gonna have to flatten this out. Let's see what this looks like. Okay, eh, it's not a horrible place for some houses, but let's see. Bit of a jump from there, huh? Whoopsie. Huh. Alright, well, let's see what we can do. Oops. And... You know what? What if we just had, like, this cliff at. You know, uh, city planner plays would be like, what are you doing? But, what if we kind of just went. Let's see. Let's see what we can do. Kind of thing do we have? Got it. Two two cars in each direction. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so we were medium road. Let's see, so what if we started here? Alright. Yep, yep. Alright, this is a bit ridiculous, so let's do something more. That. Drop it a little bit more. Let's go. I'm gonna try this, see if this works. This, this way. Okay. Interesting, interesting. <laughs> yeah. In interesting is one way to describe it. Alright, so time for me to take a page from City Planner Plays and um, set things up before I start zoning. <laughs> interesting. Let's see what we got going here. got like a gentle slope here maybe I don't know because it's a lot of lines at once which is I think supposed to mean it's a lot going on let's see oh, 7.1 okay all right and then we can get up here all right let's see what we've done all right I'm gonna bring you know, I'm just going to bring this road directly over at an angle. All right. Um, so. <laughs> just taking a quick look here. We've got. <laughs> turn lanes in every direction. And forward. And if we get. What if we said no going forward here? Or let me see, what was what does the asymmetric look like? I did a replace on that. It gives me extra ones coming down or going up. I see. Alright, let's not let's not do that. Let's just do um I'm gonna say of going forward here, you're just turning, and then you can, um, from there, you'll be able to go, like, up either one of those two streets. <laughs> Alright, so, coming back down here, we've got plenty, plenty, plenty of 
demand. So let's start laying our roads. Has one going this way, two going that way. Yeah, sure, I think that makes sense. And then let's see what happens out here. Okay, sure. This is a smaller area, probably less people coming in this way. This way. You're listening to Second Moon. These I try and do that little cul-de-sac that City Planner Plays does. Let's see. So if we do go out. Challenging sphere of the classical genre. Let us move now from the musical page to the literary. Mm -hmm. Here we have some perfectly anguishing correspondence from a listener. My mm. dear. Let's try that again. <laughs> Whereas I make no apology for my erudite, modesty demands that I prevaricate against the title. I am but a humble devotee of the form, and mm. my expertise derives merely from a life devoted to the... Oh, no, that was no good. All right, let's try that again. I thank you for the honor. Mm. Uh, but I digest to continue... Uh, Professor Hornbuckle, as a traveler from my homeland, I long to hear a tune that speaks to the anger. There we go, kind of. <laughs> All right. So, now, my good fellow, some quick landscaping in here. No need to wallow in <laughs> Leave that to those poet chaps. Eh? Here's a tune just for you, and I do hope it provides your aching spirit some modest desolation. A housing shortage is driving up prices in the area. That's right, Glenda. But apparently, that's not all good news. We're joined today by an expert guest, Professor Nutbutter. Welcome, Professor. So a housing shortage is bad for the people trying to move here, right? Humans are programmed to desire certain representations within ideological... Okay, so let's go do some zoning. ...entirely apart from the actual rewards enjoyed. For example, consider capital. One, right, one final question. Do a couple different sizes here. Housing shortage going to make me richer. By certain metrics, perhaps yes, in the short term. I like the sound of that. Mm -hmm. What we are discussing is the study of a statistical abstraction and its effect on the human. Thank psyche. you, Professor. It is a question. I'm pretty happy with how that came out. Industry right. in the region is on the rise. Mm, let's the see. Is doing well, that floats our boat. There's no sinking this boat, Glenda. All right. Gonna have. All right. Let's do the rest of our setup of our area here. I think I'm gonna leave these trees here, and then do about. Let's see here. Let switch back to a normal road. Okay. All right, and you know what? Let's go along here and there. Okay, we can maybe put some some houses here. Let's see. Do some tiny row houses or arrow, I guess. All right, and then over here we'll do some single-family homes. that one potentially be bigger. So one of the things that I learned from City Planner Plays is like, part of what you want to do with zoning the different sizes of houses is not just like um, if you're using City Skylands as a city painter, but also, um, you know, where it brings some variety. But um, 
but also it uh, allows there to be more um, income variety for Oh, that house did not like that. I don't know why. <coughs> You'll figure your shit out eventually. Alright, let's see over right here. Put one. Let's see, one here. You know what? I'm gonna make that a row, a row house. Okay. Alright, I didn't quite do what I set out to do, which was actually I had wanted to lay everything out before I started zoning. I, I kind of tend to get a little impatient with that, I think. Put a little commercial there. And then over here we'll do some more housing. see what that looks like okay <clears throat> all right let's finish laying out this neighborhood here I'm gonna do some small roads um, see I think I want to do another I think every time I come in here I want to do a three-lane asymmetric there's going to be more people going out out there to the rest of the, the town. <laughs> Alright. And let's see, I think these folks are probably going to need a park. Let's do... Small park. Doing... Let's see. Right? Right there, I think. And, um, let's see. I think I'm gonna do, like, a little pathway. We'll kind of cut across like that. Alright, and maybe to allow people to walk. There we go. Do the... And what we'll do... It allows to be precise enough is get rid of this other crosswalk here. There we go. Okay. Cool. Do some quick detailing here. Let's see, I think I want to do trees. Got that, all right. Now let's do a curve road. There we go. <coughs> I started learning from, again, from CD's uh, Planner Plays about how, um, how these, uh, what determines what gets a street light um how to make these curves in a pleasing manner okay um let's see here i think i'm gonna keep i'm gonna do some quick see here right here okay all right um let's see <laughs> oh, 
Looks like there's people coming, moving. All right, let's do some more three lanes going in this way. So we'll have these go back there. All right, let's see here. Let's go up that way. All right, perhaps I'll attempt another cul-de-sac here. Uh, there we go. All right, and then later we can do some detailing there. All right, and then do I try to take advantage back here? You know what? I think I'll let that be maybe a park or something. All right, so now in terms of education, looks like these folks are taken care of. So I think I'll just go ahead and make some more housing. Um, so I think I definitely want these houses Fronted towards this street here. It'll do it. It doesn't look like it wants to. Interesting. Ah, all right. Well, there it goes. <coughs> In that case, I'm going to make... Let's see. I'm going to do medium density here. I'm going to do a parking spot right across right here. All right, let's see here. Let's make smaller apartments. Can this go all the way back? I'm not sure. Oh, yeah, there we go. All right, I'm not going to zone that. Here I'll do some mixed. That'd be interesting. Okay. Um, I think I'll allow some commercial here. some single family housing here. Let it be a nice big lot. And here we'll do two smaller ones. Let's see, we'll do a little more commercial on Orchard Street here. So a small house there. Let there be a long row house there. Shorter row house. And decent sized apartment. Alright. Well, let's finish zoning the cul de sac over here. Okay. Lots of different sizes for houses here. All 
Alright, we can come back in later and fill some more of these. So we get what we want. Alright, so on Orchard Street here, I'm going to do row houses. And then businesses and then row houses. Kind of like what I saw in New York while I was there this last week. And then at the end I'll make a uh, apartment, I think. Oh, you know what? Actually, what I'll do is I'll make a mixed mix right here. Please exercise caution if you must drive and try to stay off the streets until conditions improve. Right. This has been a local public service announcement. We'll add a medium parking lot right there. Another letter from our erstwhile listeners. Hmm. What's up, honey? Me and my sister love you. Oh, that's nice. Dog you park. got clarinets and violins, but you got something most music these days. Small playground. Yes, lineage traced back to the great Hayden himself. Right there. Let's see here. Y'all got soul. Oh, yes, soul. A raison d'etre. Mm, delicious. My sisters say whoever you got playing the keys got more funk in his pinky. Hmm, but I told her that ain't funk. That's classical. Yes, indeed. That must be most exacerbating. Classical music has been known since the time of the early explorers. Funk, by contrast, is an entirely modern conceit, and you'll find none of that here. Funk, as they say, is for the lay person. Now, let's hear another one of those soulful cants. And on to our main feature story. The commercial district is booming as the area is attracting more high-end stores, bringing the latest in luxury to our neighborhood. You can now shop for designer shoes while sipping a fancy local Jarva Mate. Or so my wife tells me. That's good for business and good for the community. Thanks, Jim. We'll be back after this. All right, we'll leave these trees here. We'll make this the rest of this traffic. If you're thinking residential. about hitting the streets, you can expect delays on the major roads, especially during rush hour. Good to know, Jim. Seems like everyone is in a hurry to get somewhere fast. It's worth slowing down, and if you can, plan your trip outside the rush. Oh, I don't know. I'd rather wait an hour in traffic than to have to start... Chemicals. Okay. Besides, Ooh, if I look at this tree here. I'd never get anywhere. Now that is pretty. Alright, um... So, got a bunch of room houses there. Okay. Very nice, very nice. And these folks are probably all gonna have their own, uh, you know, let's see. If you were to do... that weird? Trees and trees? Seems like too many trees, maybe. Hmm. Right. <coughs> Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and put apartment here. Some row homes, a house. We'll do another one of these here. We'll let this one be big, essentially big. And over here, we'll do a plaza. That doesn't seem right. No, that doesn't seem right. Let's move this. There we go. 
Yeah, nothing should be here in this cold sec except some trees. We'll plant some trees. And then we'll do some in here too. Playground here. Let's get some housing back here. one car parked there. Alright, I think I'm going to leave it at that. And we'll come back to this area. Um, we'll come back to this area probably... I'm going to say probably... January? Depends how absorbed I get into um, Advent of Code. We'll just, uh, there's people walking in the rain. Alright, this has been Airplane Studio Skylines 2. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.